नमस्ते एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यूएचवी 3 एंड इन यूएचवी 3 वी आर ऑन द प्रैक्टिस सेशन एक्सरसाइज 1 observing the self by the self and we are almost coming to the end of exercise 1 after which we will start with exercise 2 so if you look at the steps of exercise 1 that we have done in step 1 we said that we have to be aware we need to observe our imagination at any moment and we need to observe the desire which is associated with the feeling the thought the expectation all of these are going on within us we just have to directly observe this without any reaction without trying to stop it or change it or you know direct it somewhere else or evaluate it or anything and this we said we have to do every moment this was step 1 our particular focus was on the feeling in the imagination in step 2 we asked if the feeling that we were having at any moment was naturally acceptable to us or not in step 3 we asked whether with that feeling that we were having at that moment or any moment whether we are in harmony we are happy or we are unhappy step 4 the crucial question who is deciding the feeling that i'm having at this moment because it's deciding my happiness and unhappiness i need to know who is deciding and we said that it is i who is deciding the feeling not somebody else not the situation outside then in step 5 we asked ourselves what the basis was for our deciding that feeling did we decide it on the basis of understanding or on the basis of some assumption in the lack of understanding and then in step 6 when we could see that you know we may be deciding the feelings on the basis of assumptions and since we may not have the understanding yet we asked ourselves which are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us and we could see that the feelings of relationship not opposition feeling of harmony not disharmony feeling of coexistence not struggle these are the ones that are naturally acceptable to us so then we said that there is a need to understand the relationship harmony and coexistence in completeness in context of the human being and all of nature and existence this was up to step 6 then yesterday we talked a little bit about step 7 so in step 7 we said that since the feeling of relationship harmony coexistence these are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to me then what i want to do is i want to ensure at least at this moment that i have the feeling of relationship feeling of harmony feeling of coexistence and i when i have this at this moment if i can ensure it then i notice that i am calm i am comfortable within so if i can ensure this at this moment i find i can be in harmony in happiness within at this moment so if i can ensure it this moment then i should be able to ensure it the next moment and the next 
And if I can ensure this every moment, then I can be in harmony, I can be happy within every moment. And that is what we started out to do, to see how we can have continuous happiness. Next slide. Then in 7b, step 7b, we said that as our understanding grows about relationship, about harmony, about coexistence, because side by side we are trying to understand this, explore into this. You know, one is directly observing with the help of the natural acceptance, referring to the natural acceptance, at the same time trying to activate these higher activities. So we are trying to understand relationship, harmony and coexistence. And then when we decide on the right feeling, then we can notice that we are comfortable, we are in a state of happiness. So then I can see that once I understand all of these completely, then of course I will ensure this feeling all the time. I'll be able to decide the right feeling at this moment, next moment, every moment. So that possibility of continuous happiness, I can see. Therefore, this understanding or this um, clarity comes that I do need to develop myself so that I can ensure every moment that I have the understanding of relationship, harmony and coexistence. And with that, the feeling and thought of relationship, harmony and coexistence all the time. So that I can be in continuous happiness. And when I am happy, whatever I, whenever I interact with anybody else, I share that. And it leads to mutual happiness. It leads to ha happiness in the other and therefore mutual happiness. So yesterday we also had some discussion about natural acceptance and you know feeling and so on. And on the basis of that, we had uh, talked of an assignment that we could do. So we had said that we have to check for ourselves whether the feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable or feeling of opposition, feeling of harmony or disharmony, and feeling of coexistence or struggle. So directly refer to the natural. Don't just say this, but reflect on it. Ask yourself. Ask your natural acceptance. What is the answer you get? This was one thing that we have to check. And then we have to, we needed to check that in every interaction yesterday, especially in interactions where the other person's behavior seemed inappropriate to you, were you able to refer to your natural acceptance and see that that hasn't changed? The natural acceptance is the same, even now that it is the same at all the time. And were you able to have the feeling in line with the natural acceptance or not? What you'll find is that moment to moment, your natural acceptance is the same, but your feeling keeps changing. So this can be because of several reasons. If I'm not at all paying attention inside, of course, I don't know what, what feeling is going on because I don't, I'm not aware of my imagination. So I have no idea. That could be one thing. Or I'm paying attention inside, I'm trying to observe the imagination, but 
I'm not telling. I'm not asking myself. I'm not referring to my natural acceptance and asking which is naturally acceptable to me. The third thing that is possible is that even though I'm paying attention, even though I'm referring to my natural acceptance, it still seems that I am not able to have the right feeling at that moment. And this is when a strong assumption, some strong sanskar is driving my feeling. So like some of us may have shared that even though I know that this is what is going to give me happiness, even though I have experienced it before, still sometimes in some cases, I am not able to have that feeling because I am not aware that there is a sanskar, there is a deep assumption which is driving that feeling. So what do I have to do? It could be one, two, three, all of these causes. So what do I have to do? I have to pay attention to the imagination. I have to refer to the natural acceptance. And as I am doing this process, in a very natural way of unfolding, I will also become aware of the sanskars which are driving my feelings. And as I become aware of it, for everything that we need to see directly when we see, we will observe that all we have to do is to become aware, become conscious of it. And then it almost happens effortlessly that you are able to drop what you don't want. It's not about trying to control, making effort to control, control, and I have to try to have this feeling. No, it is about looking at what is naturally acceptable, trying to have that feeling. And in that process, I will observe whatever is obstructing that, what I am trying to do. And I just have to become aware of it, aware of these deep sanskars. And I realize that this is not in line with natural acceptance. So there itself, the process of it dropping away starts. You'll find some of the weaker sanskars, they drop immediately. Some of the deeper, stronger sanskars may take time. But the process is the same. So with all of this, if anybody has any observations from yesterday, if they could share or if there is a question, we can take that. Namaste. Namaste all. Uh, yesterday, I had very uncomfortable uh, experience. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the event of death of my sister's husband, uh, the funeral uh, rituals, they take 13-14 uh, days and on 7th day, we are invited by the, my sister-in-law's house to attend the function. Mm -hmm. So, we went there and we handed over as a formality or something, uh, some amount. And uh, without saying the amount, what is it? And at the same time, my another sister went there and she told that I have given this month this much of amount, but we didn't tell because this on this occasion, uh, it will not very fitting to tell this the amount, and it was a sad atmosphere. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> so. Oh, I was hot that uh, to listen that they didn't, uh, I mean, accept, uh, did not say the proper amount. They told that it is uh, one fourth of the amount we have given. Uh, so I was very uncomfortable with this. And immediately I started referring to the uh, these different steps in reference to the be 
two and b one block, and I found that it is all that. Uh, yes, uh, the, for the feeling, I am responsible. But how to reconcile with that? This is the the wrong statement or the uh, the what to say the. Um, undervaluing the us uh, in some way uh, uh, so i was hot and uh, i referred to that uh, the two blocks and i started still that to find the relationship with him and uh, somehow i yesterday i could not do that today in the morning itself before this session i was contemplating on that and uh, i thought about the person who received the money about his uh, incompleteness in life or you can say um, the competence so in this case uh, i could see the relationship but whatever this harmony and this uh, realization uh, and partly is saying right uh, really speaking partly i could find some relationship even if he has the mistake but anyway i could not reconcile fully so it was no, my what exactly was bothering you you said I, we gave some amount, bigger amount, but they said that this is lower amount that we have given. Who said? The the person, I mean, uh, my sister-in-law's house, the senior person, the the brother, brother of the dead uh, person. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you thought that, uh, why didn't you just clarify there itself? Yeah, that's what I told that because that is a occasion of very sad occasion, and we, uh, I don't think that this is good to count and tell that this mm -hmm. is the amount. Mm -hmm. So that is the whole thing, and they took the advantage of that. And, uh, my sister, when uh, she gave some amount, he, she told that this is the amount, but I didn't. I didn't tell. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the whole thing, but I know what I have given, and I am very true to my uh, what I did. Yeah. So somewhere you you know your feeling may be driven by this. You know that uh, you sentence, you know we expect the right feeling from the other for yeah, us, yeah. Uh, just and when we don't have that right feeling from them, yes. then we get unhappy. Yeah, yeah. But oh, at yes. the same time, yeah, go ahead. Yes, and the brother whom I have given, uh, beforehand, I had the impression that the person is of not integrity. Uh, so I really handed over, uh, wanted to hand it over the sister, but uh, she told that no, give him, give him. So I gave him. So this is this is the background, yeah. Didi. Yes. So certainly, you know, such occasions can happen with us that you, know, you do something. You know, of course, your intention is right, and you want to help the other, and so you are giving some the the physical facility. The money is a token that. So that it can help them in this time when they may need you know, more might be required by them. So this is actually uh, reflecting on our participation in helping them at such a time. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes. So like you rightly said, the amount will vary from person to person depending on what they can give. Hmm. And if some somebody has taken it or you know they have not been able to um, 
somebody has taken some of that amount of course there also not that the person's intention is wrong but he lacks understanding you're saying that somebody else took it but said that it was less than what you had given one fourth right? even one fourth of the amount we gave yeah so at some point you know later of course not at that time of grief but at some point you may wish to clarify discuss with your sister and mention this but um, no didi i i observe, if you observe within yourself at this time i mean at that time when you heard this try to yeah. see what your feeling was for that other person yes yes isn't it uh, one is that when we have some you know when we think somebody has wronged us at that moment we'll notice that our feeling is also not right towards them because it we, we feel cheated somehow you know yeah yes exactly. somebody has taken advantage of the situation and us and so we feel wrong and it you know spontaneously sometimes it looks like we have a feeling of opposition for the other and we don't feel good about all this yes we have to try to see that see this is something if we were not aware that something like this could have happened then in future we will be more careful and perhaps later we will discuss with the person that we really wanted to you know communicate with at a more apt time you no know? yes yes and we will clear that with discussion that this is what happened so that they are also aware of the other person's lack of understanding and you know how they have been able to they have you know taken the physical facility or whatever i can understand this that you cannot talk about this now because it is a moment of grief and this is not the significant part the significant part is to share in that participate in this whole process no didi i on understanding from my sister that they are saying that this is the amount so i talked to the person whom i gave hmm he denied he denied that no no you have given this much of amount you are telling that wrong thing and uh, so like that he told i wanted to clarify it. maybe my sister didn't know and so therefore i talked directly talked to the to the person but he denied yeah that's what so you can see that some persons see his also his natural acceptance is also same as yours but his desire at that time was not matching his natural acceptance no mm. he wished to perhaps keep it for himself take some part of it yes something like that yes yes it is a lack of understanding if you see even there intention wise his intention is just like yours the natural acceptance doesn't change this is what we were discussing yesterday isn't it hmm. but his desire is not matching now you know what you did you know your intention yeah. was right and all of that but you didn't take into account that everybody's competence may not be like yours so in future you will be more aware that you know everybody's competence may not be at your level and so somebody may do this and so you'll take some precaution but you know like you mentioned if the person is denying that means they are not ready to accept this just now and now the deed has already happened mm. but you can clarify with the person you know at another point and still be available to them at such times 
so that that you know your participation there is nothing lacking in that at the same time you can see directly observe within yourself that at such a time probably you may be having a feeling of opposition for that person because they wronged you you feel no yes and it is true also you feel wrong that it was meant for helping somebody else and now it has been taken up by somebody who was not the person it was intended for mm. but in future you know we can see that somewhere i did not also evaluate the other's competence properly so i just handed over and such things can happen but now that it is over no point on going back and just going through again and again but what you can see is that your um you know what if you can see that as per what is naturally acceptable to you to see the relationship to participate you try to do the right thing somebody else did not do the same way that is their lack of competence how i can be comfortable is when i have feeling of relationship within me isn't it so how can i do that the relationship i can find now it is already over no the incident has happened it's over okay right yes. if we want to sort this out with the person concerned with whom we have you know um perhaps a person who uh, we are able to communicate better with then at some point we may want to clarify it but now having feeling of opposition for the other person will not help yeah i will continue to feel uncomfortable hmm. so you know when we say let go you know instead of holding on to that feeling of opposition we can say okay you know he lacks understanding Hmm. we may not have done that but he did and so at some point we may be able to help him also later see there are two things to it one is you might be feeling hurt that uh, the person that you care about that person now thinks that you gave such a small amount or something like that that might be bothering you yes isn't it yes sir what she is thinking of me now hmm. and the other thing that might be bothering you might be this opposition for the other person who came in the way you feel hmm. but see you can work out these things such incidents will keep happening yeah yeah how no, long I... we hold on to them and keep getting disturbed without doing anything outside that is up to us if we let go doesn't mean that you don't do anything outside let go just means that you don't keep holding on to that feeling you get over it and you say okay he likes understanding what can i do my participation will still be there at some point i may want to rectify the mistake that happened and i will do it in whatever way you know is possible for me but i will not hold on to it's like holding on to a grudge and if you do that then every time you think about it of that person every time you face that person again it will come up that feeling of opposition the yes. discomfort all of that so now you are creating unhappiness for yourself what has happened has already happened and finished yes. you can't go back and change that but you can certainly clarify it later at some point yes. you no need to hold on to 
that grudge that hmm. feeling yeah that if you do and then you can make some program for the future with the person concerned hmm. that will make it simpler for you to deal with it yeah yeah. yeah so how can i see the participation in the larger order in in reference to that what should be my feeling or what can i do yeah. see your participation in the larger order means now in this case you are dealing with the family so your yeah. relationship is with each and every member of the family no yeah yeah so if i have feeling of relationship for every member of the family then i will be concerned about every member of the family yes. not just the person who actually had the loss hmm. but even also the person who did something wronged me or whatever on the basis of lack of understanding i'll be able to see that this person also needs understanding mm -hmm. just like everybody else mm -hmm. and at some point whenever i can i might you know be able to participate in helping him also understand at this point if i am not able to at least if i can see my participation i will not hold on to that grudge hold on to that feeling of opposition because i can see it is lack of understanding only what else isn't it he is giving more importance to physical facility mm. at this time yes yeah so everybody is not at the level of competence that i am i just you know next time i will evaluate the other person better hmm. isn't it but it has already happened yes. now what's the point hmm. Hmm? okay fine thank you namaskar madam namaskar to all madam yesterday in one of the occasions where uh, the other person's behavior is inappropriate uh, i refer to my uh, natural acceptance mm -hmm. but i felt a strong opposition madam just like a resistance i was unable to be in a natural acceptance then but one thing i observed previously in this type of uh, strong uh, oppositions i mean to say you know inappropriate behaviors i was not at all able to refer to natural acceptance but uh, i at least i was able to refer to natural acceptance that change i observed mm -hmm. but i was unable to be in line with uh, natural acceptance then what was stopping uh, you from being in line uh, maybe i don't know madam the reason i was unable to maybe my samskaras uh driving me i don't know i don't know the reason madam but after some time again i referred to the same situation i was mm -hmm. unable again after some time i referred then i was able to be in line with uh, natural acceptance then i felt comfortable and i behaved uh, comfortably with that person mm -hmm. that i observed and uh, uh, this is a changing from Uh, situation to situation suppose if uh, in some in some situations uh, i i was uh, able to be in natural acceptance immediately yeah, but in some occasions uh, i was unable uh, this is this was the uh, observation madam what i did what yeah. i had yeah so nice very nice see earlier the state was much worse ah yes madam yes yes so what you are saying is that you are able to catch it at least little bit yeah at least at that moment okay. at that moment ha huh. so as we keep referring to our natural acceptance slowly oh, what's going to happen what we really want to happen is to ensure that feeling in us all the time ah oh, yes madam but because we don't have right understanding in completeness yes this you know our sanskars keep driving the ah, feeling ah yeah. yes madam yes so really something you may have assumed about the other person yeah no? yeah no. yeah really supposing it is somebody junior to me they must obey me like that my assumption and in the family they also obeyed and something happened and now it is disturbing me that ah yes yes madam 
but look at the disturbance is it because of the other person or the other person was just a trigger and my sanskar is the one that is driving the feeling yes you madam see? so right. if i have this sanskar that other person who is junior must obey me as mm -hmm. long as that person is obeying me everything is fine and i think i am okay isn't mm. it the yes, moment he disobeys now my sanskar is driving my feeling and i have a feeling of opposition just mm. as an example example yes madam yes. ah. so now at least we can see that these are the opportunities where we have possibility of evolution no otherwise mm -hmm. i thought everything was fine if things yeah. outside are comfortable for me i think okay everything is fine i am fine mm -hmm. i understand everything but at such moments you know it comes to light i have the clarity that my competence is lacking here uh, definitely madam so this is an opportunity for me to improve my competence so uh, really it like that and slowly this is going to happen that we will be able to ensure the right feeling at more and more and more moments mm -hmm. until with completeness of right understanding we can ensure it at every moment yes this madam what we are doing so uh, seeing it all in the right light you are able to see that things are getting better as you are doing the exploration more and more like you mentioned yesterday also ah yes madam yes yeah. nice thank you madam thank you okay we'll go forward there are a couple more um, hands raised but we'll go forward um, in 7b and then we can come back to uh, if you can go back to achane theek hai this is then this is fine we completed that slide so now this This is one assignment, another um, assignment which is similar in some ways. We'll try to do this here and now for ten minutes. Become aware of your imagination, of your feeling at this moment. Check if you are feeling comfortable within or uncomfortable within at this moment. If you are uncomfortable within, your feeling is not based on right understanding. it's not in line with your natural acceptance so you ask yourself can i ensure the feeling of relationship within myself at this moment hmm? can i ensure the feeling of harmony within myself can i ensure the feeling of coexistence within myself you will notice that when your feeling is based on right understanding or if you know even if we don't have the understanding in completeness when the feelings are based on the natural acceptance natural acceptance is for relationship for harmony for coexistence you will be calm you will be comfortable within you will be happy within whatever may be the situation outside so now if you can ensure this feeling at this moment then what is stopping me from ensuring it the next moment and the next moment so i can ensure it at every moment and i can be happy within at every moment so right now you know we'll keep this slide on so that we are aware of what we are observing and we'll do this observation for 10 minutes then we'll come back to questions and observations okay we have been observing for about 10 minutes now we can take your observations i'm lowering the hands that were there from before um we can take observations regarding this 10 minute um observation that we've been doing would anybody like to share um what they were able to observe or if there are questions regarding this assignment we can take it up now 
good morning uh, good morning everyone uh, i'm having a little contradiction uh, about the acceptance because of the fact of the two kids whom i'm having one is naturally acceptable and the other is questionable to that uh, behavior towards which i'm encouraging the natural acceptance that is the first thing and the second thing is the trigger again we are using terms without really i think understanding the meaning you said you did the workshop where exactly did you do the workshop when did you do the workshop i did it in choti two times and i went to in kanpur and uh, no, i did it in three of you went to the workshop no that is not choti is yes i did uhv 3 workshop in kanpur in the uh, 21st of uh, have you done April? the basic uhv workshop the fdp that we do online i'm about to do that yeah so i would say you know hold your questions for then because see these basic things again yesterday we spent lot of time on it for those who have already attended it will become very um, you know uh, they have already been through this and these are basic terminologies which uh, you are not familiar with so therefore it is creating confusion for you but um, we can talk about this separately but uh, i think in this forum at least for the sake of the other people's time also i think it will be better if you attend the workshop first then we can come back to your questions because again we'll do the same thing yesterday we spoke at length about the natural acceptance but again we are using those terms a little bit you know uh, without really understanding the meaning of what was being said so if you go through the workshop you know just that 5 6 days if you can devote that time uh, many of these things questions that you are having will get clarified there itself and for others you know we can always take it up but then we are on the same page sort of no i agree to the point i'm just trying to say there is a trigger which is happening to even remember this seven points which are to be remembered for being naturally accepted towards myself that is the question i'm trying to ask i'm not trying to go back to the same question which are which are been asked the the thing is these seven steps as you keep doing them there's nothing to remember it is just very spontaneous if you are trying to remember the words and how it has been said and what are the steps and all it may be difficult but if you are trying to observe within yourself directly then it is very spontaneously very naturally it flows if you want to you know you can make a copy of it and stick it on your fridge or wherever for you know ready reference and many people have done that but that you can do you know in various ways a lot of creative ways can be used to remind yourself about the steps first of all to look within to pay attention inside sometimes that needs a reminder also because we tend to be looking outside so we need to look within ourselves to be able to explore and do these seven steps so i'll suggest that yeah right okay yes namaste didi namaste yeah you're on the yes i am able to observe myself i have one sharing or it may be a question also when i am i take an example of any instance and then i am observing myself if i am uncomfortable i try mm-hmm. to you know know why i am uncomfortable mm-hmm. when i see that you know because there is some kind of opposition so i try to change my feelings with a dialogue within me only Hmm. is it the right way to have a dialogue within me only that why i am this feeling and the others feelings i should understand and with that dialogue i am cha- feelings inside me are changing so is yeah, it yes right? to to begin with say supposing we are not able to identify the feeling which may be a possibility no is that what you are saying no i know that there is a feeling of opposition for that particular person i have that feeling you are looking at that 
Um, That's what you're saying, no? Yes. Why you have feeling of opposition? Can I give the example of that instance, Didi? Maybe then it ah, will yeah, be clear. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So one of my colleagues he asked me to do something um, earlier. So for five years data because we are preparing for the NAC and NBA. So for five years he asked me to get this done, and now yesterday I got a message that you have to do it for last one year. So. i have done for 5 years i have already done so this when i saw that message that you have to do it for only last one year so i was not comfortable that i oh i have done it for last 5 years earlier you said that you have to do it for 5 years and now you are saying that you have to do only for last one year so mm-hmm. this well, there was this feeling of opposition for that person mm-hmm. but then with the you know i had a dialogue within and uh, i thought that that person is also being instructed by someone mm-hmm. so maybe he is also having the same feelings that i am having mm-hmm. so with this kind of dialogue inside me you know i was there was a change of feeling in in me for that person mm-hmm. earlier it was uh, opposition and now it is a relationship so you need to try to change the feeling with a dialogue within Yeah, you can start with that. Um, see, ultimately, uh, this is what we are doing, right? Observe the feeling, and if the feeling is not in line with natural acceptance, then what is naturally acceptable to me? If you ask yourself that, you are able to see that feeling of relationship is what is naturally acceptable. That doesn't change. So now, yes. at this moment, can I have feeling of relationship? Certainly, that is. okay to do and you notice the calm that you feel comfortable so you can also notice this that nothing has changed outside the incident yes. already happened yes, the person I, is the same no yes. but what has changed is your feeling and that is what has made the difference so this brings home the point that it is my feeling that is making me uncomfortable Yes, yes and and to have the freedom that i can make the choice of having the right feeling now with this right feeling if you want to do something about it you want to talk to that person you want to discuss something once you have the right feeling you are able to evaluate the other person also correctly you see yes yes so uh, you know at some point in this instance maybe it will work and supposing there are you know some some deep sanskar is leading to some sort of feeling now i can have the dialogue within my talk to myself and try to have the right feeling but whenever i am not aware again that sanskar will take over and drive my feeling so ultimately i need to clear up those sanskars also isn't it the deep hidden assumptions that i have which drive my feeling so slowly you know that will also happen naturally in a very natural unfolding as you keep referring to your natural acceptance so dialogue when you say you know if you are just talking to yourself that might be at the level of thought but when you are referring to your natural acceptance you are going all the way up to the b1 block taking the reference from there and then seeing your feeling is it in line or not can you see the difference yes yes really. yeah so this is what we will keep doing and in this natural process you you will also be able to slowly uncover some sanskars and then you can see what is in line what is not in line you keep the ones that are in line and you discard the ones that are not in line and that also happens in a very natural way all you have to do is to become aware of it and it slowly starts to drop or fade you will find yeah yes didi yes yes thank you so we can have a dialogue within and then the communication outside should happen after the communication inside Yeah. yeah if you are meaning 
communication inside meaning refer to your natural acceptance yes, yes, yes. you have the right feeling with that feeling now you can have discussion outside yes you know the problem always becomes that i have feeling of opposition so i cannot have discussion outside because it leads to argument irritation all of that so have yes. the right feeling and then have the discussion outside yes, yeah please thank you thank you so thank much you. thank you there are still couple of hands raised now but uh, we are out of time so we'll uh, do this assignment only today step 7 and then we'll go on to exercise 2 tomorrow